So of course in my part of the country, it's really hot. So of course I'm gonna say, you know, what should I do? Go work on a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Let's do this. That is a disaster. Yeesh. First we gotta clean up. It's gonna take a little while. You probably clicked on this video going, oh man, this is a Tyrannosaurus Rex a guy's making in his shop. This would be cool. And then you got a guy cleaning his shop. So let's just cut to the chase and oh, there it is. Let's get to it. All right, so now I'm getting things kind of organized. Uh, it's still a disaster. I have a lot of work to do, but I'm gonna get T-Rex down. And this should be a hoot because he's really heavy. Use it, don't lose it. I got these things at Harbor Freight for like 15 bucks. See if they're actually worth it. I use them for cabinet installs, so hopefully it should work. I know that was not smart by myself, but it's done. So let's try and make a Tyrannosaurus. Recap. So here we are. I am now actually more than halfway done with this Tyrannosaurus project. And as a little context, I'll throw some images up of kind of how I went through this process. Now, I don't have any video from the start, but what I will show is some photos right here. Now, this project is actually going up in my wife's middle school. She's a science teacher and a Tyrannosaurus Rex is a perfect fit to improve their science program. So here we go, it is life size and is made from everything you can buy at Home Depot. We have everything from sheetrock mud to Bondo to particle board. Even the foam that you see, the blue foam is actually the type you would use in your house as insulation. Now, is that gonna cause me headaches here as I hard coat the thing and do finish work? Probably, but we'll give it a go. Time to start some techniques that I have no idea if they'll work. Let's do it. So now that the mask is off, it's time to take a look at the skin detailing and kind of go over pros and cons. Now I know the skin texturing will work. Uh, it's time to get the little muscle tweaks here and there, kind of the fibrous parts of the muscle structure down, and then I'll throw the final details on. So now that I'm going back with detail in mind, I'm kind of looking at all the areas like where this mouth would close down. You actually see this section of the jaw will close over the top of this. So what I need to do is kind of remove some material to make it look like this would naturally fit into this recess right here.
The scales have been drawn on, and now it's time to get back to some detailing on the lower jaw. So I have this little Dremel tool attachment that I've never used before. I'm gonna give it a try, and it looks like this. Always remember your respirator. It's pretty important, don't die.